What up, folks? Doing a quick update on the good old American muscle car, baby. Yeah, I put a new T5 in this bitch. In my 69 Mustang. It was a bitch to do, because I ain't got no fucking lift. It was just me and my boys and motherfucking jack stands. That's how we got this brand new T5 in this motherfucker. There it is. Still got to put the speed sensor in. And uh, my reverse light, but bitch drives. Got my hydraulic clutch and shit. If you can see, that's the hydraulic clutch right there. New brand new T5. That bitch in there. And then the CUDA. What I got popping off on the CUDA is. Shit. Took out the tail light panel. Because I'm going to make. Put a 70 through the tail light panel. I think the 70 Cuda tail light panels are the best looking one, better than the 71s. And then I'll say the 72s are like 72 through 74 Cudas are like the second best because I like the flush mounted tail lights. But yeah, here it is. I gotta weld this fucker back in. I already did the patch right there. Did the patch there, here. Still gotta do a little bit more welding. Then I'll bond her up. Bitch will look like it never been touched. Did the floor pan. Finished the floor pan. That was a bitch. Did a little patch here. Another little patch there. And another little patch there. I still gotta grind down. But overall, this bitch coming along well. And here was a 72 through 74 CUDA panel. See? The lights are circular. But yeah, shit's going good. And then the Skylark. Let me get the hood open. We got the fuel injected carburetor done. Hold up. Let me open the hood and show you this shit. So here it is, the Holly Sniper EFI. It's a pretty simple setup. You only need about a couple wires. Temperature sensor, bam. This goes to the negative side of your coil, bam. And then, this right here, I have to show you in the car. This is what goes to your 12 volt source. We drilled the relays back there. And then down here, I got it zip tied, the oxygen sensor down there. And then my boy also bought the Phytech, I guess, fuel command center. We bolted it right here. We used the blue wire just for the fuel pump from the um, Holly Sniper. We use that to run this sucker. Here are we ran the lines, fuel filter, lines to the carb return line. This is the one that feels the low pressure pump. We're using our original mechanical pump. That's down there. Then that goes to the carb, feeds it. Then the carb, I mean the high pressure fuel pump from the command sensor basically forces the fuel back into the carburetor, basically making it fuel injected. And here is the return line. We use the existing return line from the tank. There goes the mechanical pump. Shucks, here it is. Oh, you thought I was gonna start these bitches up? Shit. Let me let you hear this motherfucker run. Hear the fuel pump going. Then. Hmm. See, hear that motherfucker? Probably low on gas. But remember that 12 volt source I was telling you about? That's where a lot of people have a problem with. When I rewired my Mustang, I had a problem with that. But the easiest way to do is if you have a fuse block. And it says, fuck, it should turn on the light. See how it says IGN? That's your ignition. You use that, that's your 12 volt source. So if you can find that in your fucking fuse block, use that. That's the easiest way to get your 12 volt source to start, crank, and then run everything. So let's try this fucker again. This fucker probably low on gas or some shit. Damn, what the fuck? There she go. 
<laughs> yeah, this motherfucker long gas. Yeah, I can't keep it running. But you heard the motherfucker running. But yeah, let me show you the stain. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. Skylark. Go ahead. Start at the 69. Put that bitch in neutral. Here, this beast run. Fuel pump. First one don't start, but second. There she go. That bitch coming down is a mean motherfucker. Just a little quick update on the good old American muscle car. But I'll holler at y'all. Keep pushing. Peace.